After having done a simple example with Blueprint, a very basic minimal Blueprint, let's go ahead and use or let's go ahead and do one where we will be using the database and we will do the usual CRUD, the Create, Read, Update and Delete. And so I'm going to start off here by dragging and dropping an empty folder called Sample that has nothing inside of it. I'm going to go ahead and close the terminal here. And as you can see there, my file is empty. And I'm going to start off by creating a file that is going to hold the database declaration and instantiation of the driver that we're going to go ahead and use. I will then hook onto that from main and leverage that same connection for the rest of my different components, which will be my blueprints within this application. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and create this first file. I'm going to call it simply database.py. Inside of it, I'm going to enter here from, and let me go ahead and close this, from Flask and extension. This is part of the driver. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enter here my SQL, and then we're going to go ahead and import. And then we're simply going to go ahead and create the assignment or the instance here of my SQL and that's all we're gonna do so we're simply going to declare it then we will go ahead and import it from main so let's go ahead and create main next within main we're gonna go ahead and create or import flask as we usually do then we're gonna go ahead and import the database file or we're, and from it, we're going to import MySQL. Then we're going to go ahead and create our instance of the server, as you can see there. And once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and set up our database configuration. We're going to set our user password as we usually do. And you can see there that then we are going to initialize. To end, I'm simply going to enter here a route. And for now, I'm going to go ahead and simply return hello world. It's always a good idea to start off small. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And as you can see, the rest of it is the usual instantiation that we do. We're going to go ahead and run with debug equals true. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead and open up the terminal. I'm going to go ahead and enter here Python 3 and then the name of my main. And as you can see there, I have an error and I can see that I misspelled flask here. So let's go ahead and enter that. Let's go ahead and run it again. And I wrote it, I left the L in there. I'm gonna go ahead and try it one more time. And this, time's, this time it looks like it's a casing Let's try it. And now we have the server up and running. So let's go ahead and hit port 5000. And as you can see there, we get hello world as expected. Let's go ahead and stop the server. Close the terminal. And one of the things to emphasize, as I mentioned before, is that now we're going to start to use Blueprint uh, to break off functionality. We're going to write our CRUD application. So one of them will be read, the other one will be update, delete, and so on. Now note here that we are only going to connect to the database once. And once we have made that connection, we're going to share that connection with the rest of the files that are going to be creating new blueprints. So let's go ahead and create the first one, the very basic one, the read, just to see how we can do that. So let's start off by creating a new file. I'm going to go ahead and call this file read.py. And inside of it, as in our very basic example, I'm going to start off by importing blueprint and then render template. And then we're going to go ahead and pull in our database. 
but as mentioned, we no longer have to set the configuration because we are going to be using the one that's already in context. And then we're gonna import my SQL. Now comes our blueprint setup. So let's go ahead and make a comment here. Blueprint setup. And we're gonna assign read just like we did in the previous example. We're going to assign the configuration of read and then name. Okay, and that's all we're going to do. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a route and we will do that as we usually do. Just note that here we are going to use read instead of app and then we specify a route just as before. So in this case it will be read and the rest of it is exactly as we have done before. So I'm gonna simply copy and paste that part here because we've done that several times. As you can see here, I'm using the colleges database and I'm simply going to return all of that onto a file called index. And I'm gonna go ahead and create that again here. Well, let me go ahead and start off first by creating a folder. I'm gonna create the folder or I'm gonna name the folder templates. Inside of that, I'm going to go ahead and create a file called index. This will be our default that we will use for much of the functionality. And you will see that in a moment. So let me go ahead and paste the code in here. Uh, this is what we did in the exercise when we looked at the buttons. The first part of that, the first nine lines, is what we have done when we iterate through a table that we bring back from the database. The next two rows, as you can see here on that table, are setting up those buttons that we will use to be able to update or delete. And down here at the very bottom, I have a button to be able to add a college as well. And you will see all of that in the UI. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that file, save read. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the console. Let's go ahead and run. And as you can see there, that's up and running. And so let's go ahead and add that route. And as you can see there, that wasn't found. And that is because we did not add the read blueprint into main. So let's go ahead and stop this, close, go back to main. And we will start off by doing that import. And in this case, we want to import read. This will be read here as well gonna go ahead and save. And now we need to register our blueprint. So I'm gonna start off by creating a comment here, register blueprint. And below it, we're gonna go ahead and register. This is the same thing we did before in the very basic example, but in this case, we are registering read. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that, run my server again. And as you can see there, that's up and Let's go ahead and reload the page. And as you can see there, we get our table as expected. We have that button down at the bottom. We have no icons because I have not added them. We can go ahead and do that next. So let's start off by creating a new folder here. And we're gonna go ahead and call it static. And inside of it, we're gonna go ahead and bring in some icons. As you can see there, I have icons now. So let's go ahead and go back to the browser. I'm gonna go ahead and reload the page. And as you can see there, now we get our expected icons. We have the pencil for edit, we have the trash can for delete, and we have one for uh, a new one that is a plus button for adding a college. So let's go ahead and stop the server, clear our terminal here. And now we're gonna go ahead and simply fill in the rest. The rest of it is a very similar structure to what we, we created for this one, but we are going to do it for the rest of the functionality. Functionality that we've seen before in class, this is functionality to do the, the four functions of create, read, update, and delete. So I'm gonna go ahead and simply paste that in here. You can see there that I will be writing files corresponding to each of of these actions. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and register all of them as well. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here, as you can see. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the default here the read the read path. So I'm going to go ahead and redirect here, and inside of it, I'm simply going to go ahead and add slash read. And now let's go ahead and create those additional files. We'll start off here with the file called create. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file, but I want to do it inside of that folder. So I'm going to go ahead and write create.py. I'm going to go ahead and copy over, and I will share all this code with you, so there's no need to, to copy it. Uh, you can, I, I will share with this with you in the Git repository. So you can see here that we have the same thing as before. We have Flask functionality that we are importing. Then we're bringing in the database connection. The setup of Blueprint, in this case, it's create. It's simply looking at the create routes. So we use create. And then we set a couple of routes. In this case, we have a route for create, which will, will return a form that we will use to populate. And then, as before, we have a method that catches those parameters that are posted on the form. And in this case, I have chosen to name that route create college. And you can see how I extract there that information. And then I insert it into the database. So that was create. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we, did, we did already read. So create, read, update. Let's go ahead and do update next. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file here called update.python. I'm going to go ahead and copy over code. And as you can see there, once again, I am repeating the same format. I am importing the database connection, uh, importing a certain functionality from Flask. I then set up my blueprint. And the additional parts are the same as before, with the exception that the route is update that route in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and save this one. Uh, then I believe the only one we are missing is delete. So I'm going to go ahead and add delete. So I need one more file. Delete that Python. And as you can see there, once again, I'm following that pattern. I will not overview it because we've done it a number of times. Now there are some HTML files that we need, and I'm going to go ahead and copy those over, and then we will go ahead and and I'll go ahead and make some comments. So I need create and update. So I'm going to go ahead and copy those over into template. And so index we have already seen. I'm going to go ahead and show create. This is the form right that we will use that is linked to the to the File. Remember, this is creating here links. So you can see here that update. Uh, no, down here I have create. And so that maps to that file. And then I have here update and delete. And so update goes to this HTML file. Uh, and delete, it doesn't need a file because we're simply removing something. So there's no edit screen or no input screen. So let's go ahead and save all these files. It looks like they are all saved. So let me go ahead and open up the console. Let's go ahead and run our file. And then let's go ahead and go navigate to the browser. And before I reload the page, let me go ahead and make my screen a little bit smaller. I'm going to go ahead and reload here. Looks like I did not have any errors. So I'm going to start off here by deleting Cornell. As you can see there, that worked uh, without any issues. I'm going to go ahead and click on the pencil and I'm going to say here Northwestern Uni and see if we don't exceed the length of the name. No, that was good. So we have Northwestern Uni. So we have their read, uh, edit, and delete. And now we can go ahead and add a college. So I'm going to go ahead and add here Duke. Uh, I'll give it uh, 30 and submit. And you can see there that we have Duke. So as you can see here, we have the traffic of the paths that we had. 
But the observation to make here is that the main file is actually pretty small. And as you can see here, all we're really doing is we're importing all of the functionality for those four functions, right? Create, read, update, and delete. And we simply register those and they are then in context. So this might be a technique that you want to use to separate your concerns within your code and make things a little bit more modular. Uh, I will go ahead and upload this code after I'm finished here with the recording and you will have access to all of the code.